The Toolchest in Visio Designer is a library for storing drawings, animations, grouped objects, etc. for reuse in a single application or throughout several applications. The User Folder is for Toolchest items that you create. How does it work? First we'll select the Toolchest icon to pull up our User Folder. There are several created by Schneider folders and the User Folder. We've created a tool chest object to go to the runtime configuration of the Magellus. All variables associated with the tool chest object will be created in your project as you drag and drop the tool chest object into your panel. I have a note here. Don't forget to add the action to retrieve IP address and target name. Right click, create new action. On startup of the Magellus, we'll get some information, which will be the IP address of the Magellus. We'll put that in the variable that was created, and we'll add it. And then I'll get the target name. add it. Now I can simulate this application. Check this out is the target name and you'll see that check this out came in with my IP address. So now let me show you how to create this tool chest object. First we'll delete the tool chest object out of the tool chest. And I've got a project already created. So I have some issues with my grouped object. So what I'll do is I'll look up the graphics list and I've spelled configuration wrong. So I will go to my switch. I will change the label and add the U. The operation is system operation to the configuration, and we've made that change. I will rename switch 01 to 2 config. We'll look at string display 01 which is the IP address. I'm going to change the name of IP underscore address. The display length is 15 bytes, 15 characters. So I'll OK that and let's go look at the variable itself. I, I created the variable and when you double click the variable, when you look at the data details, the number of bytes should be 15 bytes. So I will say OK. We'll look at the string display 2, which is the target name. I will change the name here to target, and I will OK and we'll go look at the variable of target name. The data details here is 30 characters. OK. And the string here is 30 characters. So we match. And finally the text. Don't forget to add the action to retrieve the IP address. This in essence is help for me. So I will change the name of the text to help. And I will select the entire grouped object and call it to configuration. I will right click on the to config rev1. I will start device simulation. 
and the name to configuration to config rev one, which is the same name here, and the IP address. I will select the tool chest icon. I will go back to my panel. I will take my group object and I will simply drag it and drop it in my user folder. That's how to create a tool chest item.